In this video, I'm going to show you the best laptop for architects you can get at every price range. No matter your budget, I will help you find the best pick for your needs. Let's go. First, we are going to take a look at the best options in the under $1,000 range. First, we have the Acer Nitro Vi 16. The 16-inch screen with its 16 by 10 aspect ratio is a huge win, giving me that extra vertical space that's genuinely useful for fitting in all the toolbars in Revit or AutoCAD. Its AMD Ryzen processor and 16 gigabytes of fast DDR5 memory are more than capable of handling large models and multitasking between different design applications without slowing down. However, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card feels a bit dated for heavy real-time rendering compared to the MSI, and the overall gaming focus design might not be the most professional look for a client meeting. Next, we have the MSI Cyborg 14. This laptop is a fantastic mix of power and portability, packing a newer NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 graphics card that makes a real difference in rendering speed all in a chassis that's light enough to actually carry to a job site. That tiny footprint is also its biggest drawback. I found the 14-inch screen felt really cramped for a detailed drafting work, requiring a lot more zooming and panning than on the larger screens of the Acer or Dell. Despite its size, it impressively keeps that taller 16 by 10 screen ratio, and its Intel Core, a 7 processor, handles complex model calculations very well. Finally, we have the Dell G15 5530. While this machine is built like an absolute tank and often has a powerful processor, its standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen feels restrictive and less productive for architectural work after the other laptop. It is by far the heaviest and bulkiest of the three, making it a poor Poor choice to travel to an office site as if more like a semi-portable desktop. The biggest selling point I found is that you can often configure it with one terabyte of storage, which is a massive advantage when your project files and material libraries start eating up all your disk space. Next, we are going to take a look at the best options in the $1,000 to $1,800 range. First, we have the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14GA403U. This machine is an absolute dream for portability if you're constantly moving between sites and the office, packing a powerful new AMD Ryzen processor and NVIDIA 40 series graphics into a chassis that feels impossibly light. I found its Pantone validated screen to be incredibly color accurate for material visualization, but you do have to accept that the 14 inch display feels a bit cramped for sprawling Revit projects without an external monitor. For the architect on the move, its performance and stunning screen are hard to beat, though it can get a bit toasty during those long, heavy rendering jobs compared to a bigger machine. Next, we have the Lenovo Legion 515 ACH 6H. This one feels like a dependable workhorse. It's definitely heavier and bulkier than the Zephyrus, but that extra size gives it fantastic cooling letting me push its AMD processor and RTX 30 series graphics for hours without any performance throttling. The larger 15.6 inch screen provides much more breathing room for complex floor plans and toolbars, and its 165 hertz refresh rate makes navigating 3D models feel incredibly smooth. You're getting slightly older hardware compared to the very latest options, but for pure sustained performance on a budget, it's a powerhouse that will chew through your renders without complaint. Finally, we have the HP ZBook Power G10. This is not a gaming laptop, this is a purpose-built mobile workstation, and you feel that difference immediately in its rock-solid military-grade construction. Its main advantage is the professional NVIDIA RTX and ADA generation graphics card, which has certified drivers that ensure unmatched stability in AutoCAD and other critical architecture software virtually eliminating those frustrating crashes you might get on the other two. While you might trade a little bit of raw rendering speed compared to a top-tier gaming card, the peace of mind, premium security features, and options for a perfectly color-calibrated display make it the safest and most reliable choice for a professional practice. Next, we are going to take a look at the best options in the $1,800 to $2,500 range. First, we have the Dell XPS 169640. This laptop 16-inch 4K OLED display paired with its powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 graphics makes my architectural visualizations and renders look absolutely incredible.
incredible, which is a huge advantage for client presentations. While the Intel Core Ultra 9 processor tears through complex Revit models with ease, the sleek, minimalist design means I'm constantly carrying a dongle since it pretty much only has Thunderbolt 4 ports for connectivity. Honestly, the futuristic keyboard and invisible haptic trackpad feel a bit strange for hammering out computer-aided design commands all day, and I find the more traditional setup on the ThinkPad P1 is far more practical for those heavy workloads. Next we have the Isis Pro Art Pro Art PX13. This one is a total game changer for my workflow because it's a tiny 13 inch convertible 2 in 1, letting me flip the gorgeous 3K OLED screen around and sketch ideas or markup plans directly on the display with a stylus. It is unbelievably light at under 1.5 kilograms, yet it packs a new AMD Ryzen AI 9 processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070, giving you rendering performance that rivals the much heavier Dell XPS 16, but in a form factor I can actually carry to a job site. The big trade-off is the screen size, as 13 inches can feel very cramped when you are trying to navigate a massive building model, making a larger external monitor almost a necessity back at the office. Finally, we have the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 7. This is the definition of a reliable workhorse. Using a professional NVIDIA RTX 3000 ADA generation graphics card that is certified to work perfectly with software like AutoCAD and Revit, so I never worry about weird driver crashes during a deadline. Its cooling system is fantastic, allowing me to run complex renders for hours without any performance loss. And that classic ThinkPad keyboard is an absolute dream for long drafting sessions, which is a big relief compared to the one on the Dell XPS. It is built like a tank and has every single port I could ever need, but let's be honest, it has that classic boxy ThinkPad design that just doesn't have the same visual wow factor as the other two when I'm meeting with a style conscious client. Next, we're going to take a look at the best options in the $2,500 to $3,500 range. First, we have the Asus Pro Art StudioBook 16H 7604J. Its 3.2K OLED screen is an absolute dream for presenting visualizations to clients with its perfect colors and a smooth 120 hertz refresh rate. But I found that beautiful screen and the powerful Intel Core i9 processor absolutely dream the battery so you will want to stay near a wall outlet. I thought the ASUS dial was a gimmick at first, but using it to scrub through animation timelines in Lumion or to zoom precisely in AutoCAD genuinely sped up my workflow in a way the more conventional Lenovo laptops cannot match. The machine tears through complex renders with its NVIDIA RTX 4070 graphics, though the otherwise premium chassis feels more suited for a design studio than a construction site, lacking the rugged, road-ready feel of the ThinkPad. Next we have the Lenovo ThinkPad P16 Gen 2. This thing is a certified workhorse, built like a tank with the best keyboard in the business, and its official software certifications gave me peace of mind that critical programs like Revit would run without a single hiccup, even if it feels twice as heavy as the others. Its cooling system is exceptional, allowing it to sustain peak performance on long overnight renders for hours longer than a gaming laptop like the Legion. But the standard display you get is noticeably less vibrant and slower than the gorgeous screen on the Pro Art. You are getting a machine that's built to be a reliable long-term partner for a professional practice with plenty of ports and easy upgrade paths, but it completely lacks the unique creative features of the Asus or the raw graphical power for the price that the Legion offers. Finally, we have the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. This laptop delivers an incredible amount of performance for your dollar, often packing a more powerful NVIDIA RTX 4080 graphics card that makes navigating huge 3D models and doing real-time rendering in Enscape feel instantaneous on its super-fast 240Hz display. You have to live with the aggressive gamer aesthetic and distracting RGB lighting which can look unprofessional in a client meeting, and its fans get significantly louder on under load compared to the whisper quiet ThinkPad. While this machine will blaze through any task you throw at it, you are essentially trading the guaranteed software stability of the ThinkPad and the thoughtful creator tools of the Pro Art for raw, uncompromised rendering speed. Next, we're going to take a look at the best options in the dollar, 3,500 plus range. First, we have the Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M4 Max. This machine is built like a tank and has a screen that is just breathtaking for looking at detailed plans, plus the efficiency of Apple's silicon means you get unbelievable performance for tasks like 3D modeling while on battery life that the others here can only dream about. The big catch for architects is software. 
because while it flies in programs like ArchieCAD, you will still need to run virtualization software for industry standard applications like Revit, which adds a layer of complexity and potential hiccups. Ultimately, it's a stunningly powerful and efficient laptop for design work, but it's very high price and the need for workarounds for key Windows-only software make it a more specific choice than the Dell. Next, we have the Dell Precision 7680. This thing is the definition of a professional mobile workstation built from the ground up for stability with its certified NVIDIA RTX Ada graphics meaning your massive complex projects in AutoCAD and Revit are far less likely to crash. It's certainly not as sleek as the MacBook, and it is noticeably bulkier, with a battery life that will have you reaching for the charger much sooner, but the sheer number of ports and upgrade options, like having up to 128GB of RAM, is a huge practical win. If your firm lives and breathes the auto desk ecosystem and you need a machine that is guaranteed to be stable and reliable for marathon drafting sessions, this is the serious no-nonsense choice, even if it can't quite match the raw rendering speed of the MSI. Finally, we have the MSI Titan 18HX A14V. This laptop is a pure performance monster aimed at getting your real-time visualizations done faster than anything else thanks to its desktop class Intel Core AI9 processor and a full-power NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU that tears through renders in Lumion and Enscape. The trade-off is that it looks, sounds, and feels like the gaming machine it is, with an aggressive design that might seem out of place in a client meeting, and its cooling fans get incredibly loud when you are pushing it hard. So if your primary focus is creating photorealistic walkthroughs, and you need the absolute maximum rendering horsepower in a portable-ish form factor, this Titan is unmatched, but the Dell Precision offers a much more balanced and professional package for the everyday grind of architectural work. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video to be helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.